Hello everyone. Now let's talk about the third question of the weekly contest 279, and it is design bits. It's a design level question wherein we need to design the bit set class. The bit set class has multiple helper methods. Fix that is basically fixing this particular index. When you say fix, it means setting the bit. Un unfix means unsetting the bit, making it zero. Flip means flip. All is a helper method that checks whether each bit is set or not. That returns true if all the bits are set. Otherwise, it returns false. One is a simple method which checks there is at least one bit set in the complete array, and the last one is the count which returns a count of number of bits set set bits in the bit set class. Two string is also another helper method that returns the current composition of the bit set. So we need to design this complete class, and there's an important constraint which might get overlooked by a lot of candidates, which is this constraint. At at most, ten raised to the power five calls will be made in total to fix, unfix, flip, all, one, count, and two string. So in totality, at most, ten raised to the power five calls will be made. And the most important point is at max five calls will be made to two string class, two string helper method. That simply means that. we can tolerate some latency in two string helper method while others should be in order of one so let's get started and let's move on to the presentation where i'll talk about how to go about the approach design bit set 212166 let's walk through each of the helper method so that we can safely conclude what is the best possible option or data set to use for solving this question bit set initializes a bit set all of which are zero fix updates the value of the bit at index idx to 1 if it's already 1 ignore unfix updates the value at the index idx to 0 if it's already 0 ignore flip flips the values of each bit in the bit set it means reversal in other words all bits with value 0 will now have 1 and vice versa boolean all checks if each bit in the bit set is one boolean one check if at least one bit in the bit set is is of value one count returns a total number of bits in the bit set which have a value one and the main important one is two string method returns the current composition of the bit set note that the resulting string the character at the ith index should coincide with the value at the ith bit in the bit set so pretty simple and straight forward and if you carefully observe in all these helper methods we can't tolerate any latency all should be done in order of one as per the question if you have gone through those constraints which i highlighted however over here we can tolerate a bit of latency for example if we are composing recomposing the entire bit set when two string method it's called and two string method at max will be called for less than or equal to 5 times so which will be the most appropriate data structure to use here it would be equal to hash set how let's just walk through the code and you will analyze why i'm saying this one obvious way is to go through character set character array but instead of that let's walk through hash set approach so here i have created two sets one for storing all the indexes where the bits are set and zero for storing all the indexes where the bits are unset the size tells us the total number of elements that we have and this is a pretty simple and straight forward i assign size to size and i also add uh, all the indexes starting from the 0th index up till size in my zero set now let's come comes the next operation fix when i need to fix this up what do i need to do i simply add one dot add idx to the one set instead of zero and simply remove idx from zero similarly we do it for the case of unfix case this time we remove it from idx and add it to zero now let's talk about the flip operation here we actually don't need to do anything we just need to change the references so this is a temporary bit temporary set that i have created and you can simply swap this up using the generic swap operations that we write when we replace one character in an array with another one this is a similar thing that we have done here in case we would have created a char array then you would have to iterate through the flip the entire array to actually flip those bits which is time consuming it and it would have led to order of n time complexity we have reduced here to order of 1 using two different data sets 
of type set and let's walk through the all method this is pretty simple and straightforward again the time complexity of this approach is order of one one dot size happens to be equal to size then we'll be able to identify whether all the bits were set or not similarly one method uh, other if we would have taken arrays then it would have taken a time complexity of order of n where n signifies the size of the array which is again time consuming and we are given in the question that uh, there could be cases that it is invoked multiple times in the workflow similarly for one method as well one dot size is greater than one then we return true uh, count simply returns one dot size again pretty simple so all these operations if we would have taken arrays then uh, char arrays then it would have become complicated in terms of time complexity now comes the last helper method which is true string so you iterate through starting from the zeroth index up till size and if one dot contains one then you append one otherwise zero dot contains i then you append zero pretty simple and straightforward here we are iterating through the entire data set one and zero uh, which is actually time consuming but in question it was specified this latency is tolerable because at max this helper method will be called five times so here the time complexity is equal to order of size in rest of the cases as you can see it's order of one this brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned. Something more is coming up.